Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to be covering how you can install Linux TKG, a custom Linux kernel that's designed for gaming on Linux. So historically this was a custom Linux kernel that was excluded to Arch based distributions. However, this is no longer the case as you can now install it on any DEB or RPM based distribution as well. This means that if you're running Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE or anything based on any of these bases, you can now use the Linux TKG kernel. So I suppose the question is, why would you want to use this kernel over the one supplied with your distribution? The simple answer to this is choice and customization based on your hardware. What I mean by this is the, the default Linux kernel is designed for vanilla hardware with no tweaks or optimizations, a jack of all trades if you like, whereas Linux TKG is designed for each individual system and features patches and optimizations based on the end user's hardware. And this is something that you will specify before you compile the kernel. So the installation process is not difficult, but it is time consuming. And depending on your system, it could take up to 30 minutes or a couple of hours. What you're effectively doing is compiling the Linux kernel from scratch and then applying some patches to it. So for example, on my system with a Ryzen 5 3600, it took about 20 minutes to complete the process. And for this video, I'm going to be using my installation of Kubuntu 2104. The first step is to clone the repository, which you can do with the following command, which is git clone https dash slash slash github.com slash frogging family, for some bizarre reason, slash linux tkg dot git. Once that's done, we need to change the directory, which we can do with cd space linux dot tkg. Then finally, to start the installation process, we can run the installation script, which is dot slash install dot sh space install. But first you'll be asked to specify your Linux distribution. I'm choosing the option free for Ubuntu. And then what version of kernel you want to install. I'm going with the latest, which in this video is 5.13-13. For the scheduler, I'm going to choose the option for Project C, BMQ. Uh, since I've got a Ryzen desktop, I'm choosing an option for Ryzen desktop. And I'm going to go for the GCC compiler. Next, I need to choose the TPU family. For me, this is going to be Zen 2, so it's number 17 on the list. Uh, for the BMQ experimental, I'm choosing the option 0 for no yield. And the option 0 again. I'm going to choose the option just tickless idle, please and I'm not going to enable the override patch as well as the file support and also support for wine sync and fast sync. Uh, same again for the Android modules and then finally to begin the process we can choose option for no I don't want to do the advanced settings. So this will start the compiling process. Okay so once the process is completed press Y to install the kernel. At this point, all you need to do is reboot and then select this new install kernel on boot. So to see this kernel in action, I recommend you check out this video by Birotech as it will show a comparison between the stock kernel, the Zen kernel, as well as this one that we just installed, the Linux TKG. Also, subscribe to this guy's channel if you want to see Linux gaming and benchmarking videos. In summary, Linux TKG is a great kernel for people who want to squeeze out the most performance out of their system. And with that, it brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.